Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a reading for my dearest Aquarius where we take a look at a person you're not in communication with um, or the person who broke your heart. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages and guidance come through for my dearest Aquarius, please. For their highest and greatest good. Clear messages and guidance for my Aquarius, please. For their highest and greatest good. All right, so we've got an energy here of completion. So a powerful completion to a, a tough karmic cycle here. Acceptance. Accepting yourself and others as they are liberates patterns of resistance and open to flow. Yeah, absolutely. You've been learning some tough lessons here in life and love, in particular in this, con in this connection, Aquarius. Recharge. Retreat now for important self-care. Beautiful and lessons of Jupiter. So align, demonstrate, and express the values and beliefs you have learned about love. Be open to new ways. The results are healing and expansion. Yeah, so there's something really beautiful in these messages, Aquarius, that you're really opening up to something new as a result of accepting this completion, this ending, loving the lessons that you've learned, no matter how tough they might have been taking care of yourself because you have some sort of growth and expansion. And for you, we have someone does not express how they truly feel. So maybe it's time for you to express how you truly feel. Um, you could also have been dealing with somebody who has a considerably blocked throat chakra. All right, Aquarius, let's get into this. Let's see what's up with your person or this person. Clear messages and guidance for my Aquarius, please. For their highest and greatest good. Okay, so we have the Six of Swords in reverse. Wow, and that takes us back to the Five of Swords, Venus and Aquarius energy. Um, this person hasn't been able to move forward, whether because whether that's because they're anchored in a lower vibrational timeline. For some of you, they haven't embrace the energy of forgiveness for others of you they're stuck on you yeah wow look at that they're viewing you as the three of pentacles as the person they're compatible with maybe wanting to work things out collaborate and the future action that they're going to take towards you look at this you know this was absolutely one of my favorite animated films it looks like this is uh the movie up um and, um, but anyway, some of you that might resonate with you, but I feel like there's an energy of ascension there. Um, this person's waiting. Um, this person's waiting either for the right time. Um, this person still holds a torch for you. This person is stuck on you, Aquarius. And we see the nine of pentacles, independence, because they're seeing you that way. You know, many of you may know if you've watched my videos, the nine of pentacles is... Oh, it just has my heart when it comes to one of my favorite cards in the tarot because she's just powerful. You know, she's self-made. She has everything she needs. And, and people are very attracted to her because of that. And I feel that's your energy. Because look at all this beautiful energy. You're in like completion and accepting. You've been recharging. Um, you're, you're coming into alignment. You're opening up to new ways to healing and expansion. And it feels like it's with or without this person. But let's see, they're in the Six of Swords energy, so they're kind of stuck. There's some mental conflict. Wow, Judgment card, Aries and Scorpio energy. So for a lot of you, there's been some sort of paradigm shift for this person. Um, they may be receiving some karma. We see karma review, looking at how they behaved or what they want or need in relationships. You've definitely taught this person some lessons. And we see the Justice card energy, Libran energy. So they, they're recognizing that they've broken or they sabotaged a soul contract here. Wow. All right. So let's see. And for some of you, maybe even it was a marriage. 
they're feeling that instability of not having you in their life. I mean, what a beautiful image this Three of Pentacles is. I just love that. <gasps> yeah, I love that. All right, let's see. So they see you as, you know, the person that, I don't want to say completes them, but they see you as like their teammate. They see you as very compatible on the same page. And it looks like it's taken some distance to bring that type of clarity. Five of Pentacles in reverse. This person wants stability with you. They know they've disappointed you, Aquarius, and they want to heal that. And the hanged man, look at that Pisces energy. See, you have the key to this person's heart. You've given this person some sort of new perspective, but they can't express that just yet. So even though these are beautiful messages, I don't want you to be hanging on to this. Like, you know, you know, if this person isn't reaching out and they're not taking action to tell you how much they care or what they want or trying to rebuild things or to connect with you, you know, you're not meant to put your life on hold, Aquarius, okay? So just bear that in mind. So the future action they're taking towards you is the Four of Wands in reverse. So they're definitely feeling the instability within this connection or this, or not being together has brought them not only to this karmic review, but they're definitely in an imbalanced energy. And I feel like they're waiting for the right time. They're still holding a torch for you. Yeah, strength card. See, this person needs to build up their strength and their courage. Um, I'm getting somebody who's got a really imbalanced um, solar plexus chakra. It may also be someone who has a lot of distorted masculine energy that they need to work through, they need to heal. And we get the lover's card in reverse. For some of you, this person needs to end another contract, another relationship. And that's not going to be for all of you. But for some of you, they might be. They might be leaving a marriage or a connection. Um, so just bear that in mind. Or they know that they need to make a very tough decision. Um, but they're trying to tame those inner beasts, those demons right now. And ten of wands, heavy burdens, yeah. Yeah. See, I, I know this has been very heavy for you, Aqua, but this person also carries some very heavy burdens for either the way they treated you, um, the way things ended. I, I just feel they've gone through or they're going through possibly a dark night of the soul, a major awakening. They're seeing you. They're seeing life differently. What else do we need to know? Yeah, see, this person's putting themselves in your in your shoes. And maybe they didn't do that in the past, but oh, they sure are now. And their higher self or spirit has been really, I feel like they've been getting it, you know, from all angles. Okay, so we get accomplished. All right, so again, you might feel that way about this person, maybe education, maybe through work, um, single parent. Okay, so for some of you, they may have been in a connection um, because there were children involved, or maybe you have children with this person. Um, all right, we get quiet. Yep, see, they're not expressing how they truly feel. This person's really quiet. I, they might not even fully be able to articulate the lessons that they've learned just yet, Aquarius, okay? And we get dark hair and eyes, so that may be your person, could be you, and they definitely have secret desires, but we see that this person has a blocked throat chakra, and you're not meant to be sitting around and guessing how somebody feels about you, okay? Um... You're not, you know, it's like they need to, they need to come out and tell you what they've learned, how they're feeling. Um, intuitively, I feel many of my aquas you probably already know, okay, but again, we can't operate on assumptions. We need people to show up for us and to be clear about how they feel, to be authentic as well. So let's see, what else do we need to know about this person or this connection? Yeah. See, this person is definitely going through it right now. That's what I'm getting with that justice in reverse. It's like they're receiving some sort of karma. Um, they might be frustrated in their current situation, whether that's a marriage or a relationship or job. Like I do feel there's instability around their home even. Um, and they're working through like fear and ego issues. But we also see that this person does have a lack of confidence when it comes to you, Aquarius. Um, because again, you've touch them on a very deep level. Um, you force them to see things differently. Okay, so we see that there is some sort of 
partnership, some sort of soul contract here between the two of you. But you know, what they're showing me is like, this person needs to be able to back up their promises or their words with actions. Um, and we get this double confirmation of completion. So it does feel something here may be coming full circle. Um, love call. Yeah, this person is going to reach out Aquarius again, but they need to come at you correct and they need to be true. They need to be authentic. They need to be clear. And like until they are reaching out and taking action towards you, you know, you're not meant to be putting yourself on hold. Okay. That's just a message that keeps coming through and we've got the chaser. Yeah, so this person definitely is feeling your absence, and I do feel they're going to come back around. Um, now, we do see abandonment issues or fear of abandonment, um, but this person is absolutely feeling your absence. Yep, looking at your photos, missing you, wanting to make new memories. So we do have somebody here who has this secret desire, this longing for you, um, but they need to open up. Um, it feels like they might, it feels like they might, but it also feels that they all, they, they might have to complete something again, whether that's getting clarity or another connection or a job or contract or something before they can actually come in. All right. So let's see what lessons need or needed to be learned here. And we get conviction. Don't be influenced by false beliefs and forced opinions. Stand in your truth. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So there needs to be some sort of unraveling, unveiling of the truth. You know, and that's for you as well, Aquarius. Like, can they give you what you're looking for, what you need? Because it's like you've been doing a lot of work, letting go, recharging, accepting, you know, liberating yourselves and setting expectations. Okay. So having a clear vision of the end goal will allow you to focus on how to get there. Okay, so again, there needs to be that like really raw, stripped down, <coughs> excuse me, conversation um, about what you need and want in a relationship in this person as well. And like, are they able to give that to you? Um, okay, and we get common goals. Share what you desire to find common ground on which to base your plan of action. See, there's that three of pentacles. See, this person starting to realize that you two very well might share the same vision of the future. It's going to be up for up to you to decide that. Um, but it needs to be talked about. You know, do we do we want this? Um, do we do we see the same vision of the future? Do we want children? Do we want marriage? Do we want to live together? Do we want, you know, fill in the blanks? And Spirit's advice for my aquas is be kind and loving to yourself. Your relationships will benefit as a result. So you're meant to be in this powerful energy of self-love and self-care right now. We see that retreat now for important self-care. Beautiful. Okay. Let's see what advice, what additional advice we have for my Aquarius at this time. Pivot point. Absolutely. You're at the fork in a road where an important decision may have a substantial impact. Okay. So a lot of my aquas, you are meant to either like start learning a new healing modality, working with chakras, Reiki, um, energy, energy healing, balancing, but again, your message is really clear. Your advice, tune up and maximize the energy flowing through your body for overall well-being. Yeah. Okay. And practice positivity. Be mindful of the tendency towards negative self-talk and other limiting behaviors that can keep you stagnant and energetically depleted. See, Aqua, you're meant to, in a way, I feel be like turning away from this connection and pouring all of the love that you have for this person into yourself. And you're meant to be, it's like you're preparing here um, for a major up leveling and maybe because there are challenges ahead. So face this challenge head on and look at it as an opportunity for improvement. Your will may be tested, but stand in your beliefs and to be strong. So that's coming out twice for you really needing to be strong, to stand in your beliefs, right? Don't be influenced by false beliefs. Stand in your truth. I mean, just these repeating messages coming through from my aquas here. And it does feel that they also need to come in with the truth about how they feel. Um, 
where that may not have been the case in the past because we do see that they don't express how they truly feel, at least not easily. And if they can't do that, you know, that's something that you need, you know, you cannot sit around and play guessing games or be a mind reader. All right, let's see what they would like you to know about them. We work together to find solutions. See, this person sees that you two are really compatible, that you're really, there's this potential here for like compatibility, working together, being on the same page. And even though I'm wrong, I struggle to apologize, okay, to tell you how I really feel. Again, lots of blocked throat chakra with this person. And I will start an argument with my partner to get attention, all right? And when I feel insecure, I put on a false mask to hide who I really am. So we see secret desires. We see someone doesn't express how they truly feel. They easily put on a, a false self mask here, Aquarius. And this is, this is something that needs to be addressed. It needs to be, it really needs to be worked through. Um, okay, let's see what final advice we have from my Aquarius regarding this person, regarding this connection. You know, there's such a powerful message here about needing the truth from this person. And it doesn't necessarily even mean that they like la like blatantly lied to you, but it's like this person, I'm just getting like such a knot in my throat chakra. Um, this is not the deck I want to use just quite yet. Um, Spirit wants some, uh, we need, want some advice please for my Aquarius. Yeah, so look at that. Spirit's telling you twice. Stay in a positive vibration. You'll bring more of the same into your life. And take time to, to sorry, take time with your loved one to reconnect in the heart space. So, I mean, Spirit is showing us there is potential for reconnection at some point in time. But I also feel like take time with yourself. Reconnect in your heart space, what you want, what you need. Stay in a positive vibration. That's what you're going to call into your life here okay and let's see advice for my aquarius escapist come home to yourself so and and by no means do i want to criticize any of my aquas but many of you you may have felt like you lost yourself in this connection or you were giving your power away to this person and i feel there's like a powerful powerful realization remember we saw that nine of pentacles energy that powerful realization that like you're really good on your own you're powerful you're strong and that's where you need to be and it almost feels like things have been orchestrated so that you could really come home to yourself and that's where you really begin to manifest and that's where you really begin to attract more powerful positive energy into your life and Spirit saying, focus on the here and now, stay present, don't get too stuck in the past. Um, yeah, because we do see double confirmation. I mean, the messages come through a lot about nostalgia. This person is very nostalgic, um, but we also don't want to fall in love with the potential of a situation or a person. We want them to really show us, okay, that you know, I'm backing up my words with actions, that it's more than potential. It's something that can be, you know, the relationship can be nurtured. It can be two people pouring themselves into this connection equally so that something positive and balanced and stable can grow. Um, all right, so Aquarius, I'm gonna leave it here. I'm sending you so much love and light. If these messages do resonate, I'm gonna ask that you hit that like button, share, subscribe. Check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using or you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light Aquarius. Take care.